Okay, 2.2 is here. Uploaded through Samsung Keys Mini. It's pretty cool. Show you. It's pretty fast too. My friend, um, my friend has the um, Evo, Evo 4G. Not kidding you. Faster than that. Supposedly that's 4G. Well, I guess since the Vibrant also takes 4G whenever it's available, it'll it'll be on 4G. But yeah, see, you can see that it's ah, it's 2.2, and it wasn't as of right now. There's no OTA. KA6. There's no OTA as of right now. I even spoke with uh, Samsung people and they said that uh, it was going to be OTA, but no. Not not until further notice. Right now it's just Keys Mini. That's it. <clears throat> it's really easy. Let's see. If you don't have the, the keys the way I found out was I typed in Samsung Byron 2.2 and when it comes up it'll be not the first one which is Android community or and gadget or mobile ha mobile hack mobile whack but forums tmobile.com you click on that it it gives you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to update your phone okay well this is the link You click on that and it takes you to download Keys Mini. And once you do, once you download it, boom, it'll put itself on the on your desktop. Once you're ready to to update your phone, if you haven't done so, open Keys Mini. That should come up. Okay, and then right here it says please connect your mobile phone. It has to be, it has to have at least half uh, life. I mean, it doesn't take that much out of it and doesn't take that much time to update. But they just say it has to be fully charged. No, that's a lie. Okay, take your USB for your phone. Make sure you don't have the SD card. I don't know if it'll erase it. Why risk it? Just unmount it, take your SD card out, and as far as the stuff you have on your phone, your contacts, well, your contacts are backed up by Google, and um, the ones on your S on your SIM SIM card, those are there. So don't worry about that. The only thing I think it might get erased, and this is because when I had the G1, I had this uh, music uh, MP3 downloader called Music Blaster and when, when I got the Vibrant uh, it wasn't there anymore and then I couldn't get it through Vibrant's Android market it's weird and then a friend of mine no well no he's not a friend excuse me my girlfriend's friend he still has a, the G1 and he was asking to download music so I told him about that app and he found it I guess certain phones have certain apps they can access you can't so if you got old school um, apps back them up if you really like them back them up because it might not be on the update okay once you connect your your USB to your phone right it'll show of course the you oh man It'll connect. Hold on. 
it got tangled over here. Technical difficulties. Okay. Well, let me show you. All right. And then just plug it into your USB on your computer. And then that's gonna come up. Don't worry about that. I mean, it's already updated. But one, if it hasn't been updated, updated, it'll just say keys. I don't know what else it says. But once it's been updated, that comes up. If I were to click it, it's gonna open up. Well, see, it's gonna start initializing, connected, and then of course your computer is gonna recognize it right here or not. But all right, once you can once. Keys Mini recognizes your your phone, not this window. If you can close that window up, that window will come up, and then it'll say "Phone Upgrade." Right? This is just an example. But then this icon here will be clickable. If that is that's even a word, it'll be green too. Mine's faded because it's already been updated, so there's nothing else to be to update. But uh, in your case. Just connect it. Once you connect it, this is gonna come up. Click on that, and then the uh, agreement and accept, and just go ahead. Oh, and talking about accepting, once you go to that URL, the uh, that link I told you about, the uh, for the mini, your your firewall is not gonna allow it. So just allow it. Okay, don't worry about it. I mean, it's it's from T-Mobile. So if it would have been from Engadget or some other some other website uh, I will think twice but this came from T-Mobile so allow your um, put down your your firewall that way it'll it'll install okay so once you click on that you press yes I accept the uh, the agreement and all that blah 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 I think it's one and then the other one then ready to download or update you click it and once you do just let it be It'll start. It'll start downloading, updating, and then your phone is gonna show a whole bunch of, of course, like it opened up the the ROM on it, and it's 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 loading it up, and then you'll see the Droid, and it's gonna turn yellow with the Droid downloading, and then it's gonna reboot, and it's gonna stay on the um, on the S Galaxy S. Uh, startup image it's gonna stay like that for maybe two minutes so don't worry about it and then once it's it's done updating it'll say here um, SGH T959 has been updated so once that's up you can disconnect your phone and that's it that's that simple and my re it's gonna rearrange It's gonna rearrange your your uh, screens. Like if you had, like on your home screen, if you had whatever you had, it's gonna go back to Avatar, T-Mobile, TV, and something else. Okay, uh, that I I put there. But I mean, you have to redo everything as far as as setting up your home page and your 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 windows and all that as far as new stuff as far as new stuff is uh, a new all share I don't know how that looks it still looks the same I guess a new all share busy wow okay it's just a new look on the icon uh, what else Oh, new calendar those two new new Google search icon uh, what else what else uh, of course mobile TV T-Mobile TV and uh, of course Wi-Fi calling that's it those are the uh, kind of like uh, add-ons on the applications uh, what else that kind of looks different of course
course you got color on your settings I mean yeah your settings let me show you firmware 2.2 baseband version KA6 um, what else I haven't gone through it but I've noticed that as far as location and settings you got use sensor aiding I guess what it means is that uh, oh GPS locks on you now GPS works for a change I guess when you use maps and stuff uh, it helps out the compass as, as far as which direction you you're facing I guess um, select device administrators I haven't even looked into that display horizontal cal calibration that's the only thing new there um, sounds not too much oh wireless networks there it is tether and that's pretty much okay but again 2.2 running 2.2 and it's not a ROM okay so it's from keys mini if you don't have it um, it's on my other videos just check it out allow it drop the firewall install key, keys mini and you're done all right thank you nice background music huh <laughs> it's gonna play in uh, black ops oh by the way I forgot um, if you play black ops yourself the revolver 51 there you go I just had to plug it in thank you very much